The victim, Zachary Pandy, tells me he stopped at this house on Venus Street looking for help. You can still see some of the medical supplies that were left behind. Released from the hospital and still wearing his hospital gown and ID bracelet, Zachary Pandy hobbled up the stairs to pay his respect to the man he says saved his life. You're almost there. One more. Good job. Pandy says he wants to show his appreciation to the Good Samaritan who gave him the ultimate gift, a second chance at life. I just want to tell him <clears throat> thank you um, because he had something he had to do. And um, I really appreciate it at the same time. Pandy tells me he was outside a friend's house on Stewart Street when he heard gunshots and started running for cover. What was going through your head? Just hurry up and get away. Soon after, Pandy says he saw he was shot in the thigh and stopped at this house looking for help. Investigators say they don't have any suspect information and Pandy wasn't cooperating with police. Why aren't you chatting with JSO? Because it really ain't. It really ain't really too much to talk about. It's already said and done. I requested the police report and it reads in part, the victim originally did not want police services and just wanted to go home. Pandy says doctors gave him specific instructions. It's less than 12 hours and you're already walking on both feet on how to care for his wound. You got it? Careful. There you go. Good job. Pandy tells me he was taken to the hospital at the same time his mother was admitted to UF Health Jacksonville. Her positive news, he tells me, overshadows what he experienced this morning. All new at 5. Reporting on the north side, Caitlin Chana, CBS 47, Action News Jax.